Hey, what's up YouTube beauties? My name is Tara Marie. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today I have this Bohemian E Island Beach I don't know, whatever kind of inspired eyeshadow look for you today. I'm really happy with this look and I paired it with this scarf to kind of like pull out the colors that I have going on. So without further ado, oh wait a minute, sorry, I almost skipped this part, but please, please, please support your girl and subscribe to my channel and don't be afraid to like, comment, and share this video with anyone you feel might enjoy this look. And also, don't be afraid to hop over on my Instagram page and follow me over there as well, at Tara Marie. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this look. Alright, so, I already went ahead and did one of my eyes, and I also did my eyebrows. I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to go with this look just yet, so I had to do one eye to test it out. And I'm going to show you guys how I got this look on the other eye. So, um, to get started, for today I will be using the Alamar Cosmetics Palette in Reina del Caribe, Volume 1. And these are the colors that I'm working with today. Today I'm going to be touching on Boom Boom Boom. And then we're mixing these blue colors. And so like pretty much every color in here except for this. So, yeah, but I really wanted to try to work with as many colors in this palette as I could. So, this is the look that I came up with you for today. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, to kick us off, I'm going to go ahead and go in with our transition, transition, transition shade. And for that, I'm going to be using Coco Taxi, which is right here. And I'm just going to grab a large fluffy blending brush and pick up some of that and just place that right up in here for our transition shade just the color doesn't like show up too crazy on me so i'm not gonna i just kind of put it down there as like a base and then i'm gonna go ahead and go in right over top of that with tropico this orange color right here just kind of just going slightly below where we put um, Coco Taxi and blending this. You can see this one a little bit better on me. Blending this one up. There we go. And then next, I'm going to be going in with a smaller, slightly smaller fluffy blending brush. And then I'm going to go in with Cafecito, which is this brown shade right here. I'm going to use that on the outer V and to darken up this crease. Now we're going to go ahead and do a half cut crease, which I personally love. So sorry, my hair is like a little crazy today. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of concealer on this flat brush. I'm using a Luxie 221 brush and I'm just going to be picking up some concealer, use any concealer of your choice. And then I'm going to go ahead and, oh, sorry for my brush, zoom in a little bit for you guys and cut my crease. Cut 
course I messed up my line a little bit. So I'm just going to fix that. And now that we have our crease cut, I'm gonna go ahead with a flat brush and I'm mixing the colors Cecilia and Varadero, which are these two blue shades right here. So first I'm gonna pick up the Varadero and pick up a good amount of that and start putting that closer. Oh my gosh, this blue is beautiful. Okay, putting that up into where we cut our crease. And then I'm gonna start mixing in that Celia color and making sure I'm bringing that up onto the lid as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix La Costa and El Malison, Malison, Malison. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> so I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna flip my flat brush to the other side and pick up those two colors and put that on the innermost corner. You can really see how these shades are like, ooh, these are so pretty. And I'm kind of blending that line between the blue and this shimmery shade we have. And now I'm gonna go back in where, with the same brush that we picked up that dark brown cafecito, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that and then go back in to my outer crease. Okay. I think we're looking pretty even. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, one more time, just touch up that blue and then light shades as well and now I'm gonna go ahead and wing my liner and for my liner I'm using fierce flicks um, this is kind of old but I'm just gonna be using it's just like a regular felt tip black uh, liquid liner pen and I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing Now I have some like, I don't know, just some places where the eyeshadow isn't sharp like I would like it to be. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and clean up those edges. If there's any fallout from the shadow and clean that right on up. All right, gorgeous. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera really quick. And I'm also going to put on my lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to be using today are the Ardell Professional 3D Faux Mink Multidimensional Lightweight Lashes. And this is what they look like. Nice and glamorous for this look. So, I'm going to go ahead put on my foundation, put on my lashes, and then I'll be right back to finish up the skin, lips, and you know, add a little bit more like to the eyes. All right, so my foundation, my highlight, my contour is done already. So for my foundation, I just use the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade number 109. If I was zoom in, there we go. And then, of course, for my concealer, use the Tarte Chic Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Sand. And for my contour, I would use the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And to set under my eyes, I went in with the Pretty Vulgar 
uh, the powder room, like just setting powder in matte about it. And so now to finish up my face, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just bronze up my contour just a little bit more. And I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder um, in the shade Cappuccino and my dandy brush and pick that up. And I'm just gonna trace over where I put my contour. Just up on my cheekbones. And then around my forehead line. Just extra, some extra color around there and then pinch it and then put it along where I put my nose contour just to darken that a little bit and then all right oh, oh my gosh I'm dropping everything okay so now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes while I was doing my face, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put um, underneath here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with um, that orange shade that we use in for our transition color. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my Luxie 142 brush. And it's just this really small kind of pencil brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with Tropico, which is, again, this orange shade here. And I'm going to pick that up and tap that along. Sorry, I'm going to look up and do this. Tap that along my lower lash line. Give us a nice, pretty orange underneath there. That might be the only shade I put under there. I really like how that orange looks. Can you see that? I'm just gonna darken that up a little bit. You guys can see. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna put that, darken it up a little bit more. On this eye. And bring it down a little. So you have this really beautiful kind of sunset -y look going. And then I'll go ahead and mix those two shades again that we put on our inner corner. And put that on the inside. zoom out for you okay and now I'm gonna just take my mascara and I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes just give them a nice coat you can have a nice beautiful doll effect done with the eyes let's see I don't know where I put my mascara oh I literally just had it okay here it is I always put stuff down and then it just disappears right in front of my face anyway moving on to our lips all right so I'm gonna go ahead for our lips and go in with Mac in the shade whirl and this, I'm not going to do a liner for this look. I'm just going to put that all over the lip. All right? And I'm also, I think, I think I'm going to leave this matte as well. Oh my gosh, I'm going to turn my phone off because it just keeps going off. 
Okay, and then for blush, I'm gonna be using Note in the shade Desert Rose. And just apply that on my face, up on my cheeks here, and there we go. I'm always light with my blush at first, and then I will later go and pack it on a little bit more. And there we have our blush. And then for my highlighter today, I'm gonna to be using the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator by NYX. And I'm just going to dot this on my face. And I blend that out with my finger. And then along my nose. I always put it crooked on my nose. I don't know why I do that. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take these pins out of my hair. See what we got going on. I'm feeling kind of 80s with this, kind of like a modern 80s inspired look. All right, beauty, so this is our finished look. We have this beautiful kind of beach, sand, water, sand, and sun inspired eyeshadow look. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't be afraid to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And you can also hop over to my Instagram where I post all of my looks and makeup tutorials or like little short snippets of my makeup tutorials as well. And don't be afraid to join the Tara Marie family. There's room for everybody, place for everyone here on my channel. And thanks again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.